The nation remembers, we remember the 168 lives lost when downtown Oklahoma City was bombed in what is still the country's worst act of domestic terrorism. We also remember the impact April 19, 1995 will forever have on the state and the entire country. The shocking scenes from terror in the heartland. Two Works for You anchor Russ McCaskey was in Oklahoma City for today's emotional ceremony, and he starts off our team coverage tonight. Every year, Oklahomans come together to remember the events of April 19, 1995. On this, the 20th anniversary, perhaps extra special, highlighted by an appearance of former President Bill Clinton. But at the heart of this issue and at the heart of this ceremony is remembering those 168 lives lost. 20 years later, it's still a solemn procession to start the ceremony. The memorial started shortly before 9 a.m., then 168 seconds of silence to remember the lives lost. There were a number of speakers, including Governor Mary Fallon, who was lieutenant governor back then. She praised Bill Clinton for his leadership during the bombing. Your leadership as President of the United States and what you did to help Oklahoma through a very difficult time in our moment's history. Former President Bill Clinton has been to the bombing site in Oklahoma City six times. He says instead of it hurting America, it made us stronger. When you strip away all the little things that divide us, it's important to remember how tired we are. For family members of the victims, the anniversary is an emotional day. Austin Allen lost his father. Especially when you hear your father's name, my father's name, when I heard his name, you know, uh, read off, you know, it just sets off sets off a series of emotions. It's also a trying day for Dion Thomas, who lost her mother in the bombing. Dion was 15 years old at the time. Now she's following in her mother's footsteps and works to help others in need. You know, I'm kind of like a reflection of her and I just pray that I can, you know, be as great of a person as she was. They say time heals all wounds and some of the family members we spoke with say it is getting easier each and every year, but they do say they'll never forget what happened here 20 years ago. In Oklahoma City, Russ McCaskey, 2 News Works for You. Russ, thanks. And the man who led our state during the Oklahoma City bombing spoke of resilience and perseverance in its aftermath. When this parking lot where many of us are seated were cars on fire, those fires were extinguished and the area returned to normal. Oklahoma City has become a renaissance community. The state of Oklahoma has become a renaissance state. The former governor, along with the other leaders who spoke, praising Oklahomans for how they came together on that fateful day 20 years ago.